disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Gloria and I do vlogs about my dentures, hiking, and just basically my overall life. Now guys, you guys know that this is not a reaction channel whatsoever. I hardly ever do reaction videos, but I wanted to come on here and just react to the video that we are about to see because it's, it's really heartbreaking. It's hard to watch. Um, it made me angry. It just, man, it just made my blood boil just because of what this mother did to her child. So, guys, I am going to try to do my best to not cuss because I definitely don't want YouTube to take down this video. Um, so, I'm going to try to be nice about it. I can't promise anything, but. Let's get to reacting. Pictures and happy memories. That's all neighbors have of 16-month-old Jailene Calendario. I Look at how cute that baby was. She was only 16 months old. Keep that in mind when you're watching this video with me. Absolutely loved her. She was like a little sister to me. Sulem and her mom Iris didn't want to show their faces. They said the first time they met Jailene was last August. They were supposed to watch her only a few days. But they said her mom didn't return for a month and a half. I was the one calling her, look, I need milk, I need money, I don't... Did you hear what they just said? The neighbors had to watch the baby. So the mother left the baby there for a month and a half because she, just, she didn't want to return for her child? What kind of mother is that? And then I asked myself, if you really didn't want this baby, why did you get pregnant? Why did you have a child if you knew you were not going to take care of it? No money to buy me off for you, baby. What am I supposed to do? Fast forward to this month, and Cristel Calendario is charged with her daughter Jailene's murder. Court documents show the 31-year-old admitted to leaving her baby home alone June 8th while she went on vacation to Puerto Rico and Detroit. When Calendario returned home eight days later, police say she found Jailene unresponsive. We were absolutely hard. Hmm. So this, this so-called mother, if you even want to call this, left her 16-month-old in a playpen where she couldn't get out. The baby's not even old enough to take care of herself. While she vacationed in Detroit and Puerto Rico. She left her 10 month old baby to die in that playpen. While she was living it up, she was having fun, she was giggling. She was parting it up with guys, knowing very damn well her baby was dying at home. Broken. We love Jailene a lot. Iris and Sulem wish Calendario would have asked them to watch Jailene. I wish for her to pay what she did to her daughter. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's the other thing. It's like, why didn't you hire a babysitter? Why didn't you ask your neighbors like they just said? Why didn't you ask family or friends if they can babysit while you went on vacation? Or here, even better yet, why didn't you take the baby with you? Was that baby that much of a problem for you where you couldn't take her with you? How f can one person be? How selfish can you be? Instead, 
they're left with an investigation and reminders of Jailene's many visits. Jailene really didn't deserve what happened to her. She was amazing and really adorable, and I miss her a lot. No. That baby didn't deserve it. She didn't deserve whatsoever what this mother did to her. She didn't deserve it. She didn't deserve to die the way that she died. Ten days last June, Crystal Candelario admitted to leaving her 16-month-old oh, daughter, precious. Jaylene, home alone in a pack and play. She was a mother. She got a title that means something in this world. Animals take care of their infants better. Prosecutors say exactly. Candelario frolicked on the beaches of Puerto Rico with one man and visit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at these pictures. She's all hanging on to this man. She's on the beach. She's at a bar with three other men. And look at her face. There is not one ounce of sadness in this woman. All she's doing is laughing, giggling, having fun. All smiles. Knowing very damn well she left her baby at home to die. While well, she's living it up, she's having fun. That is no. So she can't say, oh, it was an accident. You purposely meant to kill your child. You did that intentionally. You wanted to kill your child. That is the very reason why she left her in that playpen like the way she did. So my input is this. Our justice system is too weak. I may get a lot of flack. I know some of you won't agree with me. And excuse the noise in the background, I'm outside. We let criminals sit in prison for years while we taxpayers pay for their ass. They get free food, they get clothes, they get a roof over their head, and we pay for it. So for so-called mothers like her, which she's a piece of she's going to sit in prison, which, mind you, they gave her life in prison without parole. I'm sorry, that is too good for her. She deserves to die the way that baby died. I'm sorry, but that's the way I feel. I feel that if you did that to your child, your ass needs to be locked up somewhere. Leave your ass there for 10 days and see how you like it. Let her die the way her baby died. That's what I think. Even better yet, they should have given her the death penalty. And she's in the state of Ohio, so Ohio does do the death penalty, which I don't know why they didn't give her the death penalty. They should have. Because that b deserves to die. You know, all the people that commit murders, they just sit in prison. They sit in prison. For what? Here's a cheaper alternative. Why don't we just buy bullets? Take them up back. And get the job done. It's way cheaper than letting them sit in prison for, what, 20-some years before they get the lethal injection? That is so goddamn ridiculous. Bullets are cheaper. Get it done the next day. That's how our justice system should be.
we are too easy on these freaking people. No, instead the government does this, gives them a little slap on the hand and then puts them in prison. That's why our prisons are overcrowded. I think we need to go harsher on the justice system. You want to murder? Fine. That's how you're going to die. You want to rape? Fine. That's how you're going to die. You want to leave your child to starve to death? Fine. That's how you're going to die. That's how I think the justice system should be. So I want to know from you guys. Do you guys think the same way that I'm thinking? Do you think I'm being too harsh? Because for me personally, I don't think I'm being harsh. They're victims. The people that they killed. Kids who starved to death. Kids who couldn't speak for themselves, who couldn't even defend themselves. Where's their justice? They didn't get justice. So what if they went to prison? That's not justice. They still get fed. They still have a roof over their head while they're six feet under. Where's their justice? You know, good for the parents that decide to take justice into their own hands. That just shows you how messed up this government is. Like I seen a video on a woman, her daughter, I think she was only seven years old. She got raped by this man. The mother decides to go into the courthouse and shoots him until he dies. Good for her. Good for her. She got justice for her daughter. But guess what? She was arrested. What kind of Where's the justice in that? So she gets arrested because she did something that the fuck wouldn't do. She got justice for her daughter. So guys, I'm going to get off the subject because it's... Thinking about it just makes me angry and it makes me... It's, it's really heartbreaking. I feel so bad for this child. I really do. I feel so bad for this baby. So guys, if you guys want to see more content like this, let me know. I will do more content like this. Like I said, this is not a reaction channel, but once in a while when things like this pop up, I don't mind doing a reaction video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.